the country, but everybody pays so much attention to Kentucky that the rest of the teams didn't get any pop or any paint. Seven point game, 6.38 to go. John Wallace on the floor for Syracuse with four personals. Hill back in the lineup. Zipola from the corner off the back iron. Rebounded by Georgia, Pertha Robinson. Double teamed immediately. Plays it well to Harrison. Harrison in the paint, short, but Davis with the follow. Won't go for him. Wallace comes up with it, and he's fouled. We are now in a one and one. Well, here in the West, number eight, Georgia, leading number four, Syracuse, still to come. Number two, Kansas, number three, Arizona. That's next from Denver. The two will meet Sunday afternoon in the Elite Eight. Wallace in the one and one at the line. Seven point game, Georgia on top. 6-11 to go. Wallace with 15 points. He's had an outstanding game except for that, that one bad foul. He took the charge late in the first half of somewhat careless play on his part. Well, what's hurting Syracuse also is their foul shooting is atrocious. They were 7 of 15. And now 9 of 18. There's another miss. Can't win shooting 50% from the charity line. Gigi Smith in the lineup. Coach's son, number four. Good pass cross court is Anderson. Shandon Anderson. 19 points for Anderson. He's been the star up front. Robinson in the backcourt. Sixty-one to fifty-three, Georgia. Wallace got inside position. Bergen to Hill. They overplay Wallace. You kick the ball into Big O, and he buries it. Fifteen points for Otis Hill. Three points above his season average. E.G. Smith. Little Robinson back for Smith. Smith for three. In and out. Davis up high for the rebound. Steve Jones came down with it, but a foul call. No, nope. stepped on, stepped the, on the line. Stepped on the line. That was Steve Jones on the end line. Georgia, 22 to 7 run. This last 8:47, and out of the backcourt they started hitting the threes. 13 to 5, the differential in scoring. Both teams are in a one-on-one against the Syracuse backcourt. Cipola for Bergen. Cipola for three. Short on that one. Not a good stroke. It's rebounded by Wallace. Wallace is spotting up for a three-pointer. Get down on the low. That's where they want to get you to ball down low, not high. There it is. John Wallace in the paint. Won't drop for him. And G.G. Smith comes out with it. He'll back it up. The numbers aren't right. Davis. His feed for Larry Brown. Brown off the bench. His first basket that he's contributed. Walk on from the football team. A tight end. He's a starter there. 6'5 sophomore from Decatur, Georgia. Bobby Smith has substituted well throughout this game. Foul called off the ball by On Davis. What Syracuse has to do, not as much score every time down. They got to stop on the uh, other end of the court. Don't let uh, Georgia score. Davis didn't get a hack on Bergen. Bergen will go to the line. Here we go, guys. three-point land, three-ball land. He's an explosive scorer when he gets a roll going. 66% from the free-throw line. He makes one of two, 63 to 56. Georgia Lee coming down to the four-minute mark. Seven points for Bergen. Looking to work the clock for 
I think it's too soon to start working the clock, Georgia. Davis beating Anderson. Anderson missed. Wallace rebounds. A huge rebound by Wallace that time. Todd Bergen trying for three. Rebound by Anderson. Good catch by K2 Davis. Foul from behind by Bergen. Bergen got a piece of the ball, but couldn't control it. Went back into Anderson's hands. Third personal on Bergen. Here comes a pass down court. Got a piece of it. And he saves the basket. Try to put in a circus shot at the end. He has to make the basket from the foul line. Davis at the line, K2 Davis, leading scorer on the Georgia Bulldogs. Senior from Detroit, Michigan. Used it all. He shoots these at 77%. Davis hit two big three-pointers early in the second half. Makes them both. 328 to go. Georgia 65. Syracuse 56. Losses in the tournament so far. That Big East now 9 and 3 with UConn going out at the hands of Mississippi State. Out of the SEC contributing to that good 10 and 1 mark. Surprisingly, you don't see the Big Ten there. Last two years in a row, they went home with kind of their tail between their legs. And another tough year for the Big Ten in the big dance. Sapolo will inbound it 65 to 56. Syracuse from the Big East, Georgia from the SEC. Even here with a nine-point lead, they put the pressure up. They're looking to trap as soon as you go over half court. Here comes the trap. Yanulis, Sapola, Sims, Reef Snyder, and Wallace the lineup for the Syracuse Orangemen. Wallace in with four personals. Three people around Wallace. I'd still get it down to him because the ref will give him the foul. Sapola into the paint. He's short, a little tentative with the shot. Rebound grabbed by Larry Brown. Got to go to Wallace every time down. You want to stay in this ball game. Under three minutes. Anderson for Brown. Brown missing. Renula's got a hand on it. Can't save it. And it'll be Georgia ball. Georgia's just too quick to the ball for Syracuse. Otis Hill comes back into the game along with Bergen for Syracuse. Bell returns. Here's the foul trouble situation. Strong and Bell each with four. Wallace with four and Reef Snyder and Cipolla each with three. Tubby Smith doing a great job managing his bench. Ooh, interception by Bergen on the long pass from Robinson. Sims for three. Clutch shot by the senior from. They are now trying to press Syracuse, up court. New York. They don't have the material to press up court without foul. It's become a foul shooting contest the last three and a half minutes. Four on Cipolla. His fourth personal. 65 to 59. There's another look at it. 230 to go. Eighth team foul. G.G. Smith. Coach Tubby Smith's son goes to the line for the Bulldogs. Most coaches' sons can make foul shots. <laughs> That's a good point. Usually much. Sims. Another. It's a three-point game. 2.17 to go. Ten points for Sims. 20-second timeout. Real quiet most of the game. He buried a three just before. And here comes a quiet man, Mr. Z. Goes off the high screen set by O. All net. 37% shooter from there, although he's not a frequent shooter. He had 12 points against Drexel and three of five from three-point range. So Lazara Sims, two clutch baskets for Syracuse from beyond the arc. Three-point game. Orangeman pressing. Anderson, two on one. Had trouble with the ball. Turnaround is short. Hit. Wallace trying to get to the hoop, and he is fouled by Bell. But I said earlier, get the ball to Wallace under any conditions, the refs will blow. 
watch Wallace get Hammond here. Zeke kicks the ball in hard. Wallace sees the crack. Hammond on both sides. That is five on Bell, Terrell Bell. And he is out of here after an outstanding game against Purdue. 15 points and eight rebounds. Seven blocks. And tonight unable to make the same kind of presentation. Fouled out with just three points here against Syracuse. Didn't get much play in his first three years at Georgia because he sat in the bench. Playing behind Charles Claxton until this year. Dubby Smith said his game against Purdue, the best game of, that he's played all season. But tonight was not to be for Terrell Bell. Jones comes back in for Georgia. Robinson Anderson, Jones. Carlos Strong is back in. And K2 Davis. Wallace is having problems making his first of the two. He usually makes the second. But he made the first. He's a prime time player. Crunch time. He can bring it to one. Syracuse will have two timeouts remaining. Georgia all three of theirs. Possession arrow will be Syracuse. Georgia with 19 fouls. Syracuse with eight. Wallace can bring it to one. And he does. 59 to play. Georgia gets it up court. Davis, two on one, pulls up. Short on the jumper. Battle for the rebound. Wallace came away with it. Huge, huge rebound. The last three or four Wallace fought down. 15 rebounds. John Wallace is having an unbelievably great game. Playing with four fouls since early in the second half. Done it all for Syracuse, bringing them back into this one. Step down to bounds, it'll be the orange men's ball. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it, Tim? This is a great it's finish, exciting. 30 to go. Watch the five count, he just got in in time. Get the ball in Sims' hands. Get it to Sims. Hill to Cipolla, gets it in to Wallace. Good pass to him. Greatest way to feed a pivot is from a high pivot. Wallace did the big O. 17 points for Otis Hill. He was the leader in the first half, leading Syracuse to a seven-point lead. Now they're up by one after trailing by 12 to Georgia. Under a minute we go. Robinson in control of the backcourt. Syracuse on a 10-zip run. Robinson for three. Yes! Ooh, you couldn't let him have the top of the key. That's a piece of cake. 16 points for Pertha Robinson, the senior from Albany, Georgia. Two-point game. Georgia on top. Sims for Wallace. And no foul. It don't be a foul call. With that high possession. Tied at 68, 25 a, seconds left. Should be a timeout here. No, nope, he's gonna let him play. Most coaches do now. Robinson, oh, there's the timeout. Timeout call. 17.9 left. We're tied at 68. Georgia ball. Another thriller here in Denver. We'll be right back. Is it from NBA range and further out? Zip to give him the lead by two points. Now we go down the other end. Sims penetrates, gives it to the man. He finishes, and we got a tie game with 17 seconds left. 17.9. Georgia ball. Robinson will control it. Seconds remain. Robinson, 17 points. 18 points on the game and a two-point Georgia lead. CAA Division II Championship, Saturday on CBS Sports. Carlos Strong had a good look from the elbow there. 
bounces off the rim. Anderson tries to make a move inside, doesn't drop. After a third time, out to Robinson. Three times are too many. Zim. Georgia with a two-point lead, three and a half seconds left. John Wallace has been brilliant throughout here for Syracuse. Let's see if the Orangemen have something left. And a Syracuse timeout call. The eight seeds, Georgia leading the four seeds, Syracuse, by, by two points. It was a Georgia timeout. Each team with one full left. One twenty-second remaining for Georgia. Possession arrow with Syracuse. They have the ball. Wallace will inbound it. It almost got to be a rainbow pass all the way down court. You got to call another timeout. Okay, they'll give them the ball at half court. 2.4 seconds left. We're still looking at the rainbow, Tim. They're going to have to rainbow it down low to Wallace. Let Wallace in traffic go up and try to do his thing, a la Christian Leitner. Had to get it done for them, but Georgia, so far the Cinderella team, they're still working on that glass slipper to fit a bulldog. They are marvelous. I thought Tubby uh, has done an excellent coaching job. They are extremely quick. The only reason that Syracuse has stayed in this ball game is the move that Jim Beheim made to go to the 2-3 game, 2-3 zone for at least 38 of the 40 minutes. Syracuse led by seven points at the half. They were never headed in the first half by Georgia. Then they fell down by 12. Did the Orangemen in the second half. Battle back. Got it to the tie. Georgia leads by two points with 2.4 seconds left. UConn has already lost to an SEC team. Georgia would like to add another SET, SEC team into the Elite Eight. Coming next will be the two seed here, Kansas, against Arizona. Purdue out. Kansas, the top team left here. Once again, a look at the shot that gave Georgia the lead. Carlos Strong missed up for the rebound and batted out. That was Anderson's miss after Strong had missed. And then Robinson. Just not enough time now to do anything but rainbow that ball down, either at the elbow or even down lower, for even what was called an alley oop. It was Steve Jones who got his hand on that rebound of the miss of Anderson to knock it back outside to Bertha Robinson. And the senior from Albany, Georgia, who missed the first game against Clemson in the tournament because of the flu. He's been red hot here tonight, especially in the second half. He's got 18 points. He averages 8-3 a game. He's also added five rebounds. He's a fifth-year senior. You know, Tubby Smith's going to have some problems next year. They're going to go on cruise control for maybe a year and a half, two years, because he's losing eight seniors. So uh, be patient down there in Athens. Georgia, six out of 15 in the three-point department in the second half. And that, combined with Syracuse, bad free-throw shooting as George on top. Syracuse 12 of 23 from the line in the game. That really hurt him. They shoot 71% from there. Wallace. Wow. Tip my hat to Jim. What a pass. What a pass to Zapola from over half court. Let's see it again. What was good here, Jason got his body balanced nice in the air. There's a solid pass. The defensive man didn't even touch it. He missed it by an inch. And absolutely a drill job, a root canal job. Wallace looked like a quarterback on that one. They've got a quarterback on their team, Donovan McNabb, Syracuse football quarterback. But Wallace must have been practicing throwing that quarterback style pass and it paid off we'll be in overtime Wallace here the ref was ready to blow the whistle and I thought he should have called timeout and there he throws a little rainbow unbelievable delivery unbelievable finish and we're in old time Tom Rucker just told our stats man, Dick Bossing, he was about to call the foul. He just got the ball off in time. 
And Cipolla very calmly nails the two. And we're in overtime. Cipolla can beat you off the dribble. He's a junior college transfer out of Tallahassee, Florida. 16 points for Cipolla. The last two were huge. Wallace still has four personals. It seems like a light year he's had the four personals. Syracuse ball. Hill, who had a great first half for the Orangemen. Out for Cipolla. There's a steal. Anderson lost control of it. Now gets it back again. Good play. Shendon Anderson. Senior from Atlanta. Athletic move at the end, controlling the ball. 21 turnovers by Syracuse. They've been hurting themselves in that department and from the free throw line. They haven't even shot 50%, I believe, from the throw line. What's that count for free throws? There's a foul. Strong, I believe. It's all right. No, it's on Anderson. Three on him. Two shots now as. They're in the double bonus with Hill on the line for Syracuse. Hill has kept himself out of foul trouble most of the game. He is foul prone also. Here's a house. Hill with 18 points. Hill had 11 of his 18 in the first half. And we're tied at 72. And they are staying in the zone. Want to get the ball to Davis or to Robinson. On three ball land. This is Robinson. Bounce in for Jones. Nearly lost. Sapola got a hand on it. Anderson alertly grabbing. Carlos Strong. And he's fouled. Poor foul. Strong doesn't figure to bury that shot from there. Bergen picks up his third personal. Strong has been kind of quiet today. Four on Bergen make it. Four personals. Strong, 70% shooter from the free throw line. He has only three points in this game. And he averages nearly 14 a game. And nice. trouble with his own in the first half. It was really a non-factor. That was a nice, soft foul shot, caught the front of the rim and danced around. If he catches the front again, that soft will also go in. Way up is Anderson, and he's fouled. Otis Hill picks up his third. That might be the bonus foul, so we might be going to two shots automatically on both ends. That's right, it's the bonus foul. He pushed off down here, it was a good, a good whistle, but the key is the bonus foul now. So that makes the first shot a little bit easier. You don't have that pressure on you in the one-on-one. -on -one. Anderson, like Robinson, has had an outstanding game for the Bulldogs. 22 points, he'll go for 23. And a two-point Georgia lead, 74 to 72. This is an important point here. Uh-oh, put it up, son. Good. Now, if he would have missed that, he would have got another shot. Once you see someone step in the paint on Main Street, just put it up. Anderson connected, a three-point game, Georgia. 344 to go in OT. Cipolla had to run back to make that pass, and he collided with Strong. And it'll be Strong picking up his fifth. When you collide with Strong, you're going to lose. Strong's like a freight train here, coming at Chipotle. Knocks him out, and that's all he wrote. He's going to go to Pine City, Pine Bench right now. Carlos Strong has fouled out. That'll bring back Larry Brown, the sophomore. We mentioned a couple of times, he's a walk-on. He was the starting tight end on the Georgia Bulldog football team, and he's given Tubby Smith some good minutes tonight. Now he's got some heat on him. He comes in for Carlos Strong, 3.42 to go in overtime. There he goes, a great young man. He used to sell peanuts. Only lives five miles for 15 miles from Athens. He used to sell peanuts at the football games. Great career, and it's not over yet. We'll see what happens in the OT here. Bola at the line. 
Ace and Cipolla missing from there. He was the guy who got it into overtime with his jumper. Wallace, Cipolla, Bergen all with four. Bell and Strong already gone for Georgia. Cipolla makes the next one. 17 points for Jason Cipolla. Three-point game. Nice. Two-point game, pardon me, Georgia. Nice gamble attack that time. It didn't work by the orange men. Jones inside for Brown. He missed, and Otis Hill comes up with it. Nearly lost it, but saves it for Sims. Good no call there. He was bumped from behind to create the walk. Good no call. It's Wallace time. Sims for Bergen to Wallace. Wallace, pull up jumper off the front iron. And Anderson stole the ball away from a pair of Syracuse rebounders. Shandon Anderson. Outstanding game for him tonight. Both coaches working very verbally on the sideline. Luther Robinson inside for Jones, and he misses the jumper. Bergen for the rebound. Jones just can't get a break in some of the shots. Sims driving baseline, kicks it outside. Cipolla missed the three. Hill has the rebound. Hill was on his back. He's called for his fourth personal. He needed the saddle that time. He's caught out of position. And when they got your box out from inside, you better just revert to another area, find another space. Larry Brown will be at the line. He's got two points. And if he makes this, we're in a one possession game with two and a half minutes to go. For Syracuse. Georgia by two, 223 to go. Jim Beheim's calling a set play, raising both his arms in the air. I don't know what play that is. I would think it has something to do with Wallace. There he goes down the baseline, Wallace. There it is. <laughs> Couldn't connect on the reverse, but he's fouled en route. Set play there, they, st they caught, they start Wallace high and he goes around a double pick. Sims is looking for him, kicks it down low to him. Tries to get his balance to come in the back door. Just didn't have enough, didn't have enough air time. And Steve Jones picks up his second personal, sending Wallace to the line. Larry Brown having to be in here in this clutch time has played only 11 total minutes coming into this game. This big man from the football team. 21 points now for Wallace. One point game. Again, 2.06 to play in overtime. Can't do much down low, Georgia, so you got to kind of pop from the outside, look for the better shot. You've got three good outside shooters out there. Georgia trail by seven at the half, led by 12 in the second half. Sapola sent it into overtime for Syracuse. Let it go, Robinson. Back around to Davis again. Ooh. Anderson continues his hot hand. Shandon Anderson, 25 points. He leads all scores. Wallace has 22 for Syracuse. Both teams looking to go to the Elite Eight. Arizona and Kansas next here from Denver. Anderson with six points in the overtime for Georgia. Sims. Started down the lane, got it to Wallace, and he stepped on the line. Here's the last basket down low to Anderson. He's behind the backboard. He uses his athletic ability to get balance and to drain it. 6'6", six, six senior from Atlanta. Oh, a brilliant game. This is Wallace forcing his way up. Basket will count, and there's a foul on Georgia. And it looks like Anderson 
Anytime you get the ball to Anderson, and if there is a foul, they're going to blow it. Now, that time, Anderson put it up after the whistle. Wallace, it was a good mean. move. Wallace, I mean. It was a good move after the whistle. Continuity. An NBA call right there. Anderson got his fourth personal. Game Syracuse, 101 to go. Under a minute now. Timeout Georgia. 57.8. Syracuse leads by one here in Denver. 22nd timeout. We're in overtime. Syracuse by a point. setting up now their last set play. I, what he wants to do, I believe, would be to shoot from the outside. I wouldn't be surprised if Jim wouldn't come out this time, Beheim, and give a different face uh, on the defensive end. Maybe not a 2-3 zone, but maybe a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Georgia lineup, Robinson, Davis, Steve Jones, Anderson, it's a 2-3 passive zone. That means you've got to attack it. And Harrison, three guards on the floor for Georgia. Inside for Davis. And he's fouled, I believe, by Hill. Cipolla grabbed the ball. The foul called before the steal. And that's five for Otis Hill. Otis Hill leaves the game. Reef Snyder will come back. Yeah, they got to go to JB. Got to go to him. They need some strength underneath. Syracuse, 78 to 77. 47.6 left in the first overtime period. possession game so this thing has plenty of time to go plenty of time 47 seconds Reef Snyder Cipolla Wallace Sims and Bergen the lineup for Syracuse Davis ties it at 78 both teams are in a double bonus, so every time they go, they're going to get two shots from Charityville. Ah! Rebound by Bergen. Bergen brought down a lot of big rebounds in this yes, game. Yes, he has. And he has a tendency to do that. He gets 6.6 .6 a game. It's about a 12-second uh, spread between the shot clock and the game clock. Tied at 78. So Syracuse has to shoot, and Georgia has to get the ball back. the challenge of the Bulldogs from Georgia and a happy Syracuse Orangeman team will advance to the Elite Eight awaiting the winner of Arizona and Kansas next here from Denver. What a ball game. Syracuse moves to 27-8 on the year, ranked number 15 in the nation and 
John Wallace, 29 points, 15 rebounds. The winner here with the clock running out. Syracuse 83, Georgia 81. Arizona the three seed, Kansas the two seed. They'll be next from McNichols Sports Arena. Our Chevy MVP players of the game from Georgia, Pertha Robinson. 21 points and five rebounds. He brought them back in the second half. John Wallace was Mr. Everything. 29 points and 15 rebounds for Syracuse. So we'll go back out to Denver in about a half an hour. Thank you, Tim and Al. We'll talk to you a little later. Syracuse wins a thriller, 83 to 81. Cincinnati, Georgia Tech coming up after a word from your local station. Stay with us.